Hello YouTube, I've got the Mirkwood, no I'm sorry, the Lorien bow up here in my tailoring tree and I'd like to see what it draws at 28 inches. The whole issue was the stated goal weight was approximately 60 pounds. I don't think it's going to draw that just because of the heavy deflexing. Getting the shape right at the same time as the draw weight that heavy is going to be a challenge and if I want to do that I might need to modify the bow in other ways. I'll have to contact the, uh, the customer and see if that's what they're interested in. But let's just test it and see where we're at. Well, at 20 inches it's 25.65 pounds. Let's do to 24. Thirty-one pounds. My guess is it's going to be about thirty-five pounds. Nope, I'm wrong. It's thirty-nine pounds. So there you go. Could we do better? Could we make it heavier? Absolutely. I could reduce the deflex, I could slightly recurve everything. However, getting the shape of it to be just so is really, that's hard. And the customer said what they really want is a bow that looks similar to an elven bow like that given to in the, the works of Tolkien, uh, Legolas by the Lady Galadriel. So that's what we're working off of. And, <coughs> pardon me. Well, the work, even in the shaping of the bow, isn't done. The decoration of the bow, just seeing where we are for a baseline weight is important so I can communicate this. Anyway, I hope this is interesting. The shape is fairly, fairly good, fairly authentic. I really like it. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching, YouTube.